Yeah. I got a dodge mark. Empty bio vessel. Uh, a vessel made of crystal and gold capable of holding the hallowed bio that emanates from the morning fountains. Uh, that in the village. Get up and tell us what you witness, said the scribe with our bird in his gates from the paper. I received an order for the exhumation of a penitent who had been buried about a year ago, answered the grave digger. He was well loved in Alberta. Uh, many parishioners approached, approached his grave. Uh, but when I dug him up, we saw blood coming from a crack in his sarcophagus, blood red as wine. Those who were there rushed to open the lid of the coffin and carry him to the on their shoulders, watching as blood gushed out from its side. Others ran to their houses searching for buckets and bottles to keep all the blood that wouldn't stop flowing out. Okay, I'm not fully sure what that does, but I'll, when I get back to the town, I'll check it. Place of blessings have I been entrusted with watching over you, penitent one. Thus it has been arranged. My name is Viridiana. I have been granted a gift with which I can assist you in carrying your burden if required. But only you can make that choice. Penitent one in silence, will you require my assistance with your next task? I don't know what's my next task. Oh. Here I shall remain, lest you change your mind. I think it's a boss battle. Okay, I think it's over there. Travel. Oh, oh, two, verse three. But oh, where am I in the barrel? Bouquet of thyme, bunch of aromatic herbs, common in the past amidst the cliffs of bronze borders. Today, however, there is scarcity makes them increasingly valuable, especially for those who discern their healing abilities. Okay, I think I... I know who to give this to. It wasn't long before more and more people came to us, affected by that terrible and unknown suffering. Whole families, the old, the young, and even the newborn. We, brothers of the congregation, were unable to cope, and our care was not working. No nor were our ointments, nor our constant prayers. We are lost, submerged in the darkness of uncertainty. Ah, back here, great. Uh, do I need to find more statues for me to be able to get to those numbers? Uh, dodge Strong attack, longer combos. Uh, that may force me to dodge more. Good. Uh, the guy up there is it? You? You asked for it? Yes. Merciful be, penitent one. 
With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. Oh, lining cloth. What does that do? Uh, a useless rag that seems to slightly vibrate at times, emitting an unintelligible buzz. The affliction sometimes leaves its mark on mundane looking objects, unable to reveal the miracle under its smell of corruption. Uh, so it's like for finding secret spots huh? or something. Fimbrio as he was, he hardly noticed that someone had sat down next to him. A gentle hand patted a white cloth on his forehead. It was a fabric of the almost softness, which allowed light through it as if it were, it were a sheet of paper, uh, and was soaking his feverish sweats and providing such relief that he could not help but fall asleep. When the cloth was soaked, the nun got up and handed it to the mother superior, adding, with this we shall be able to have his confession. Now let's see if that thing works. Uh, oh. What's... Oh, that's not what I expected. I thought I would like grab water or something with that. Morning fountains. Uh. This place is another dream, penitent one. Okay, now this feels like Bloodborne. They believe me a saint worthy of devotions, and the only thing I granted to their prayers was the saltpeter that runs through the stark land and rises through our bodies. The punishment of the miracle for the false idol is to grant them false holiness. Do not try to obtain my name, for it is also covered in salt. Bring me anything that can be blessed, so you might crush this fate of mine and let me cross to the other side of this false dream. Uh, I don't, this feels like a trap. Do I have something? Oh. Give. Behold the linen cloth that soaks the sweat of fevers, of thoughts, of dreamt sins. A tool that obtains secret and forbidden confessions, even from those who already departed to the other side of the dream. In the name of the High Wills, I bless this relic. Watch over it, for it is now pure and sacred. Oh, a great shroud of dreamt sins. Uh, equip relics to change your perception of the world. Each relic possesses a different unique effect, and you can equip up to three of them at time. At the same time. Uh, Bring me it? anything that can be blessed, so you. Okay, so I can use other things too. Uh, it was a quest item. Uh, yellowish fabric. Witness of two febrile confessions is to quiver in the face of tortured souls, allowing one to listen to those who can no longer speak. Uh, febrile as he was, he hardly noticed someone had sat down next to him. A gentle hand patted a white cloth on his forehead. It was a fabric of the utmost softness, which allowed light through which I don't know. Oh, it's just in the end. No, but it, it looks it looks like the text is slightly uh, different uh, arranged. Yeah, the adding I think was in the last line and stuff. Um, okay, I didn't pay that much attention. I think that first line wasn't there as well. Alright, but I'm not really sure what will that do. Um, 
also can no longer speak, but... Uh, Time outside else. these walls, but if your penance happens to sorrowful... Same thing. Let me see, there was a bot over here. It's something like... Uh, Oh, what are those little ones that seem to hide up in the ceiling? The ceilings amongst the ornaments of the altars. When I call them, they do not appear to pay me any money. They are covered in... I, I, I don't have enough time to read it all. They are covered in ribbons that... Give the impression of fluttering in an invisible, imperceptible, constant wind. At times I hear them cry, and at times I hear them laugh. What are you, all oh, creatures of divine grace? Okay, it's just. Okay, it's I probably just from some lore about the game, not. I don't think this would be required for anything. Oh. It definitely feels like a boss. the other side. Oh, yeah, I was going to try to dodge that. Damn. Yeah, no. Eternal. 
I like he didn't drink the blood of this boss. What? I have to go far. I wanted to recover health. Oh. What? What was that? Is this like a dream or something or? Oh. In the name of the great ordeal and the sons of the miracle, when you humbled yourself before my most holy body, you have been granted the presence of my golden visage, custodian of one of the three sorrows of the soul in penance. Our miracle has chosen me amongst all the peers. Just as it shows you to walk on the sacred sea, may the gold in my visage melt and erase the attrition of your soul. Heart of guilt, return now from the dream. The holy world of attrition. Mark left by the golden visage that reveals the cleanliness of attrition in the soul of the penitent one. That doesn't really tell me anything. Santo Credo, verse 1. His holiness, because of his high penance, must endure suffering in his soul in three ways. Each of the ways is a motive, and each motive is a sore. Hence, the three sores are the keys to his eternal pain and must be guarded. Can I heal? Oh! Hi! You have carried out the first humiliation of penance. You have met the visage of attrition. I, I don't really know what the word means. You have yet to prostrate before two last holy visages. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent. Oh, what? Can I... Oh! Like a boss. Blessed are the eyes that with devotion see my tormented heart. Let the ones who are joyful in affliction and fasting come to me, for they are pleasant penance. Six sting pains lance my flowery breast. Take the first one and purge one of your six mortal stains over the soul. That's my health. Can I sit in benches like Alucard? No.
I don't know, maybe I should have made it. Slowly, not a punch to the face like that. that crank was already old but what would it do then oh there's a fortune teller or something here oh let's talk to you first let us be captives of the miracle penitent one do not be surprised to find this merchant here this ancient occupation requires me to be wherever I can obtain rewarding benefits. Call me Candelaria, for what I sell would make your eyes light up like the high bonfires. I will not ask you for any money whatsoever. Those forbidden tears you shed would be more than enough for me. Go ahead. Cast your darkened eyes over these valuable treasures. What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first star of the night. And may my eyes be blinded if I'm lying. Moss preserved in glass. A meat jar filled with moss. Tiny white flowers that shimmer inside can grant some protection against toxins. Oh, okay, I kind of need that. But what else? What I am offering you here is a and may my hollow pearl empty tarnished sphere. There is no trace of nacre left, but it retains just a hint of blue sheen. It creates fervor when destroying surrounding objects. No, that's. Behold what I now. present to you. Though a small piece, its great power should not be underestimated. <laughs> Trust me, for I have the blood of kings on the palm of my hand. Key to the chamber of the other's brother. Mm -hmm, I know. Forbidden key that was guarded by the eldest brother of the Brotherhood, but was eventually lost, thus forever sealing the chamber it opened. Let's buy that. Uh, okay, looks like uh, I hear his lament. The one who was believed mute from the beginning, since there were witnesses to the first miracle. The afflicted one who asked for punishment and had it granted to him, I hear his lament. Even if the father is no longer with us, even if only his image is large and small remain in all the sacred places, I hear his lament. It is the miracle that makes me hear it. This is my punishment as a elder's brother. 
and guardian of this congregation whose mystery is the silence of the Father. I hear his lament, and I didn't want to hear it anymore. I will have yours cover his. Uh, that is my penance. Can I what I am on May my Yeah, almost. Okay. Uh, I hope there's a teleport soon. I'm more interested in going through that door than. Part down here as well. Uh, what is that? Just that do? Does this gives me more points? Oh. Damn, it takes a little while. form of Hernandez the Explorer. Victor Hernandez was chosen to lead an expedition meant to civilize barbaric tribes. Uh, he was sentenced for heresy when he suggested that Custodia was the most uncivilized of all known places. Uh, seems way too accurate. It's a white dodge after the British dodge. Oh, I can probably... Yeah, but I need to upgrade as well the other. Uh, straight power of the vehicle, I'm playing here. Let's get that. Oh. Seems good. Oh, there's a guy up there. Doesn't have a crowd. for him for days until they found Mark's remains in the woods. Since then, rumors tell of demons riding on the backs of flying goats coming from faraway lands. Steps above me, behind the roots. I hear regular raspy breath breathing from behind the rock. I hear the worms nearby slithering towards me. Quicksilver. The sphere of liquid silver touched by the miracle, brought to Custodia by alchemists from distant lands. Back when the roads were still open and the wagons left furrows in the mud. In the right hands, it's late in healing powers. Healing powers uh, could be revived, but alas, the art of alchemy was lost many eons ago. It emerges from the pores of the earth, from between the flagstones. It is the silver of the ornaments, desperate to flee, to escape from them and turn from their sanctity. 
it detaches itself, it slips away, leaving the figures naked of its embrace, leaving the works of art orphans of brightness. Uh, it looks through the, and hides under our feet, only to then sprout again free of impurity. It is our choice, your choice, my son, to pick them up or to leave them, but beware of the purpose you put them to. Okay, I think I have to take that to the dream guy. Interesting that this is another area so small. Maybe we'll be able to open that door. Ah, the guy isn't here anymore. You have used the key. Blood perpetuated in sand. Uh, reserve blood with miracles properties. Uh, with the passage of its bearer, new legends are revealed, formerly invisible to the beholder's eye. The miracle is truly unfathomable, uh, and no one knows the origin of the blood that swirls around the wearer's feet. Uh, I think this blood thing will be that those red dots. Uh, take this bag and fill it with sand, now imbue it with the blood spilling from these dreadful wounds, so it will turn crimson red. With it, you will show the way through this dry land to those who are yet to follow. Leave me now. I want to say my prayers, for I will soon be joining the dry sap of these roots that painfully embrace our father. And that. Painted wood beads. Uh, it's still covered in yellow. Yellow. Varnish. The cheap paint betrays its origin. Home oak of the forest of the Holy Lion. Line. Holy Lion. Uh, it recovers health when destroying surrounding objects. Mm. We call this pilgrimage road the trail. Uh, our wagons have always passed through here, and the tracks have gotten deep enough to even unearth the chalky sand that lay hidden under the thick forest. Such that, if one could see it from above, it would look like a long upper line across the woods. Of time, it brought strange objects. It's better than health, I guess. Strange by the face, strange by vitality. Uh, more the face or recover health? Mm. I think more the face. Uh, and I've seen those somewhere else, but I don't really remember where. Oh, right. I can't, I can't jump here. I thought it would hold the border or something. I didn't notice it opened afterwards. Uh, oh. Game options. Okay. What's that? Make a donation? Uh, uh, what? For now. Okay, yeah, let's go up. I haven't done yet. Uh, 
I feel myself weakening. I seem to perish and abandon in this forceful praying position. I can no longer hear the rest, only the rusted cages swaying in the wind. Oh, there's a bell over here. Oh, press K when jumping against certain surfaces to thrust a sword into the wall. While hanging, press jump. Is wow, if this is, is an upgrade or anything. It feels like it took a while for me to find one. The poet. The work of the poet John Clark Hauser had a sadly posthumous success, possible success, especially his poem to the red leaf. The poem was found next to his corpse, severed by a falling tree. Contrite and humiliated be the heart, penitent one in silence, you stand before what remains of Gemino. Oh, do not fret for me, the cold is merciful, for it leaves our pain and numbs us before it leads us to our deaths. He got a arrow on his knee. Perhaps the miracle the others spoke of has come to me, here in this iron tomb, lengthening distress more. And more. To a promised land you direct your march, to the place where the frozen and the burning embrace in communion. Let me ask of you the favor of bringing me a few drops of the oils that once came out of these icy olive trees, the ones that ended up scorching the faces of every pious person who ever reached the summit. As my last wish, before it is too late for me, let me feel that pain. Take this. Now, let my numbed arm become another branch of this withered olive tree. Hurry up, I can still hear the call. Tingle was darn with gold carrying an inscription that reads Only cold gold can carry the redeeming oil. Number one, a young villager named Arya had such a beautiful and pale face that even as a child, statue sculptures took her as a model for their creations. Her face became so recognizable that little by little, people took her as the living, breathing image of the divinity, until it reached a point where they ended up take, taking her out on procession and even replacing their own images. Such was the fervor around her that she could not bear to be mistaken with the divinity, and burning her face with boiling oil to give her pious beauty to God, and took the habits of the convent. White as bone, very hard to find. Its intense aroma, reminiscent of sandalwood, is unnoticeable on rainy days, betraying its hiding place. Uh, it was sought after by herbalists with the best sense of smell for its miraculous properties. So, should I take this to as herb for those guys? The Confessions of Tirso. Who was Tirso? I, I spoke to a Tirso, I don't remember now. Uh, I think it was the guy in the window. Part 6. Ever since then, 
Arpeus' kisses have saved hundreds of the affection of the hundreds from the affection of the miracle that ravishes the slain. And from then on, our congregation has been called that of the kisser of wounds. I don't think it's a hole in the ground. No, it's on the foreground. On this cliffs located at the foot of the snowy abyss, the roots of a secret await those who are patient. Um, does that mean I just have to wait in place for something to happen or no? It's not that literal. Ooh. On the cliffs located at the foot of the snow, I'm just with those who are patient. I think Saber fall from here. Uh, I think it would be around here that I would have to wait if it's to be taken that literally. I don't know how much like Dark Souls or like Castlevania needs to be. The latest Castlevanias, you usually can't find most everything without much issue. Seems like bad news. Damn, ah, uh, I 
dying. There's another one. Oh, he comes. Goes which far? Okay, I never died twice. So I leave two of those now, and I get even less point. of the novice Tintuja that were isolated from the rest of, so she could not receive a holy burial. Why? The Tintuja spent several years in the nunnery, in that nunnery, and as she grew up, it became harder and harder to hide her hair. It would stop twisting and growing thorns, and the blood from the wounds it caused her did not take long to stain her pure white hand. The nuns, upon realizing, were frightened by, by it and soon began considering her cursed and erratic. Uh, just as the parents of the girl had feared would happen. survived finally now I'm going to up there spot it is closer now the crying faces of vice announce their proximity of the convent blah, blah, blah. they presage the pain awaiting inside its walls I ask the cold to be merciful and allow me to climb to the peaks where I will be reborn as a sister of golden visage here before. Oh, that was excellent. I didn't even pay attention to was anything different in the ground. Uh, Echo Bone of Weston, the Pilgrim. Uh, his struggling companion assured him that he would wait for him at the next shelter, just a day away. When Weston arrived the next day, there was no one there, nor the day after that. Ah, good. 